Good day, YouTube. It is the 26th of March, 2019, and I really just am going to do a quick video on my snapper lawnmowers. This is a plural lawnmowers. I'm a hoarder of everything, including, uh, I think, snapper lawnmowers. So uh, this is a, a snapper rear engine rider. Um, I affectionately call it the Forrest Gump mower. This is a slightly newer model than the Comet that was used in the movie Forrest Gump. You remember there's a couple scenes where he's mowing the big old field on a, uh, actually a much smaller, I think that was an, on the movie was an eight horsepower, like a 28 inch cut. So a pretty small riding mower, but a very high quality even back in the day. This is a 36 inch single blade would have had been a 10 horsepower, I believe. Um, I picked this up at an auction. I think I got it for $60. It has been, I want to say six years ago, plus or minus, I, I don't know, somewhere in there. Um, and it had been repowered um, when I got it with a brand new 12 and a half horse industrial commercial engine. I thought at the time that I bought it, well, nothing else, the motor's worth more than that. So I'll buy it. Of course, over time I've fixed it up, new tires on it. Um, it could still use a little more fixing up, but it's extremely reliable. And when it comes time for spring mowing, you know, when you catch a nice day between a bunch of rain and the grass is tall, this is the go-to mower. I've taken this home more times than I can count when I've let the grass get away from me, where a push mower is just not enough machine, um, and I run this. Um, it's got 25% you know, more horsepower than it came with, and nothing stops it. This thing will go through. It'll just, it, it'll just go. It's amazing. I love the machine. I like how simple it is. I like how well it's built and how easy it is to work on. I'm going to put you on hold here for just a second. So this is my yard at my shop. Um, we were just in the solar shed. I call it a solar shed because everything in it runs on solar and a battery and so forth. There's a 100 watt solar panel. Um, and it's got, uh, I think a 2000 watt inverter in there. I don't do a lot of work in here. That's all I really need. I just thought I'd solar power it for fun. And it is fun. So anyway, got the grass all cut with the snapper rider. Um, I actually took the rider home and cut the grass at the house with it as well. And putting you back on hold. And the rest of the snapper fleet. Yes. I have, uh, I'm a, a kind of remiss. I did not get all my lawnmowers serviced over the winter. And uh, I'm sort of paying for that now. This one you've seen a video on. This is one I got for free. I did some trading on another snapper rear bagger um, a couple years ago. I think I did a video on that. I traded it for a John Deere rear engine rider that I fixed up and also sold. Um, I, I made a bunch of money on it, but uh, I miss it. Anyway, I don't have that one anymore. So I was one down, so I was happy to get this one. Let me run through. I got them all on the service table. Um, they all need something. So this one, one I got for free. Um, we got it going. We fixed, uh, worked on the governor's spring and some things were taken apart on the rear drive gearbox and put together incorrectly. Um, you might have seen that video and I noted that this plug wire was pinched, which tells me somebody's had that open. So I get all this done. It runs real good. The video and everything turned out fine. I went out, started up. It ran for about five minutes and made a hell of a noise and quit running. It didn't lock up or anything. I think what has happened is something under there. Some this the whoever this mechanic was that owned this needs to hand his mechanic card in because everything that person touched is junk and needs to be redone. I am guessing, and I won't know for sure until we take it apart, that either the flywheel he didn't put the key in it. Or the coil, you didn't put the bolts in it or didn't tighten one of them or only put one in or something. Something like that is going on. It's made a heck of a noise 
and it won't run. <laughs> so anyway, got to dig back into this one. This one I bought brand new in 1988. Ordered this. My father-in-law was uh, retired and then kind of reemerged into the landscaping business, just you know, mowing lawns and so forth for um, folks that are uh, kind of uh, um, you know low income. So he was really helping out, and he had actually one like this. This is a commercial mower. It's a rear drive. It's electric start, and it is a commercial deck aluminum deck. This is uh, I run the numbers on it. This comes up a commercial mower. This is exactly what he had. It's a five horse um, snapper, and he had used it for years and years and years, and then went on to use it in his mowing business where he was mowing. You know, five, six lawns a day with the mower during the season and convinced me to buy one. My little bit of research says buy the Robin Wisconsin engine. They are steel sleeve. There are ball bearings on the crankshaft. Um, just an all around really good motor and no regrets. I paid $640 for this back in 1988. That's a lot of money in, even in today's money, but back then... Um, I would, I don't know, was that 1200 bucks, something like that back then? It was a ton of money, but I am still mowing with it. It started third pole, um, a week or so ago when I cut the grass at the house. Um, unfortunately, the rope, it was pretty rotten when I tried to start it today. The rope broke. So I had to come out here and get the rider and go home and cut the grass. But I haven't serviced this mower yet this season. It's still running last year's oil. Um, I need to sharpen the blade up a little bit. So that one just needs a service and the rope replaced. And that'll be good to go. I'll take it back home where it belongs. And then this guy here I picked up at a yard sale a few years ago. Two years, three years. Can't remember. It is not a rear drive. It is a... What is the horsepower of that? It's a Tecumseh engine. Not my favorite. I'm not a Tecumseh fan. I like Briggs engines. I like uh, the old Robin Wisconsin's, which are now Subaru. Um, I think this is a, I don't know, four or five horsepower Tecumseh, if I'm not mistaken. But you know what? Uh, it probably is fine. I don't know. I know I got it running when I got it. It's bone dry of fuel. My guess is I run it out of fuel purposely. And um, that's really all it needs. I think it needs an air filter. I think I used it twice. Some numb nuts cut out the side of the chute so they could side discharge. The chutes are really expensive. Um, and somebody put kind of a patch over it. That's unfortunate. Um, we'll see what uh, happens with this one. What I thought I would do is get this one run and put the Thatcher blade on it. Just use it for thatching. And go from there. But that one's in really good condition. Um, I probably hit it uh, at, with the wash stuff at the car wash. I've actually repainted the deck on this one a number of years ago. Um, just to keep it nice looking. Um, this was also a commercial mower. Um, extra tough they called it. There it is. You can see the... And it's a four horsepower. I put the... Uh, High vacuum blade extensions on this one for the rider mower. Um, it's got enough horsepower to turn it, and so it has extra suction power. So anyway, um, I think I will get this one serviced up first. I'm really starting to run out of time. Man, I wish to. I worked on tractors all winter long and didn't get my. I you know, need something to run to get my lawn mowed. Um, anyway, I guess that happens when you're hoard stuff like. I do can run projects through and only work on what you want to work on. Sometimes you need to mow the grass and your mower needs to run. And that's the situation that we're in. So, but luckily I have others. So anyway, that's my snapper rundown. The herd, the three of them here, all need a little attention from me. Um, I need to probably run a couple of these to the car wash too. And get them kind of cleaned up and ready for the year. And, uh, we're good to go. Turn that into a Thatcher, that into a daily driver, and this one into standby, I suppose. And we'll go from there, gang. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. The Snapper Hoarder.
we'll catch you on the next video.